Hi, I'm Liz. I go by Stitch by Liz with an underscore over on Instagram. And welcome to Floss Tube number. I don't know, I didn't check. Ross will put it on screen. Um, if you are new, welcome. Um, if you are returning, welcome back. If you are new, this is my little corner of YouTube where I talk about all of my cross stitch. This is Ross's little corner where he uh, comments whatever he likes. Um, Ross is my husband and unpaid editor. Um, and he is going to do the mammoth job of editing this whip parade, which there's going to be a lot of pictures inserted. He is phenomenal at editing. We love him. He's also just started stitching as well. So um, before I jump into my whips, I am going to just give a little bit of an introduction um, in case you are new. I'm Liz. I am from Melbourne, Australia. I am 37 years old. Um, I have been stitching for over 20 years. Uh, I started when I was 15 or 16. And it's essentially been non-stop. Um, there were little pockets where like maybe a couple of months I wouldn't stitch, but there hasn't been like a super long period of time where I've just stopped stitching. So yeah. Um, do I have any of the projects I completed before probably, when did Ross and I get together? 2008. Any projects before 2008, maybe like one or two, but anything probably before 2004, I have nothing. I don't know where they are, don't know where they ended up, I have nothing. So um, I do have a lot of the pieces that I completed while Ross and I were together. Ross has got some patterns, um, some finished projects that I stitched for him. Um, but other than that, it's just stuff that I've continued stitching from when we first started uh, going out back in 2008. So um, yeah, I have a lot of whips. <laughs> I thought there would be somewhere like 50. Um, we're looking at probably 68-ish because as I was making my list, I realized that I'd forgotten to write down some of my whips in my whip book. So my little teal book here literally has all of my whips per page. Um, and I just put the start date, the finish, if it's finished, the designer, the stitch count, whether what, what size it is. So my size guide is... Uh, is this, so this is per stitches squared. Um, and then the materials, the bag and the minder that is on the, pro, the on, that is the minder that is on the project and the bag that it's in. So I can keep track of everything. Um, any notes, and then I've got my progress um, based on each year's whip parade. Um, so this is based on my end of year whip parade, which went up just at the end of 2023 and the progress to now. Some of them don't have any progress in the past six months. That's fine. Um, yeah, if they don't, I'll let you know. Uh, I haven't worked on everything because my stitchy bug's been a bit weird lately. So um, I'm just gonna jump into it. There may be some editing and some rough cuts. I have been battling a respiratory infection. I am feeling mostly better, but the sneezing and the coughing is still hanging around. So um, if I do need to, uh, end filming and start again. That is why. Um, so there may be some cuts um, and I will likely need a battery change because there is a lot to go through. So I'm going to jump into it. Um, my first project is the only project that I have from 2019. Um, and it's the only project I have since before 2021. So I have no projects from 2020, just this one and then 2021 onwards. Um, so this one is in a Mickey bag that I made myself. All of my projects are kitted up individually on floss drops that I've made um, or floss drops that I've bought. Um, some of them don't have the fl th floss in them because I found like four floss, <laughs> four floss rings with thread on them that may belong to one of the projects. So, well, you know, we'll see. If they don't have threads in them, that's the reason why. Um, so my first project is Sorcerer Mickey. It is a chart from Etsy. Uh, it, it, I don't think the shop is available. I don't think it's open anymore on Etsy. So, um, I don't think you can get it. I mean, you can probably find something similar, um, but I don't think you can actually get, uh, the chart itself. So I started this on the 14th of December, 2019. Um, and this is where I'm up to. So at my end of year whip parade, um, this was sitting at 24,950 stitches and at 51.99% complete. Um, and this has had a total so far this year of 26,136 stitches is what I've done on the whole project, not how much has been done in six months. And this is sitting at 54.45% complete. 
Um, so I started this in December 2019, stopped stitching it in Feb 2020, and then picked it up again in 2021. So I mean, is it a 2019 start yet? Yeah, it's but um, this is where I'm up to. So after these, this page here is finished, um, I will then only have four full pages and four partials left. And the partials are like maybe 20 or 30 stitches high. So not, um, not super crazy. Um, this little minder is from a friend. Um, and this is stitched on an 18 count, two over one full cross. So Sorcerer Mickey, he's fabulous. I love this. I've, I, I currently have a really weird rotation happening, but that's only because I have got two gifts, two present, two projects that are gifts that I'll show you a little bit later on. Um, so they are my focus pieces at the moment, but as soon as they're done, or as soon as one of them is done, Mickey will go into that just so we can get some progress on him. All right, my next project is in this Harry Potter project bag that I made myself. Purple interior. Again, everything's get it up in here. Um, oh, actually, I should probably probably put the projects back in the bags instead of throwing the bags and projects in separate piles. Um, so this is the Gryffindor common room. This is from Green Terrace. I got this off Etsy. Uh, it's no longer available on Etsy. However, it is available on Green Terrace's website. Um, this one has some park threads, so I do apologize if you don't like parked threads. Um, I enjoy them because they keep um, keep the backs a little bit neater. Um, so this is, I started on the 11th of December, 2021, and this is where I'm up to. Um, so this is stitched on an 18 count white two over one with the called for DMC. Um, at my end of year whip parade, this was sitting at 12,134 stitches and 46.71% complete. And it's now sitting at 14,510 stitches and 55.85% complete. So I have, I will come in a little bit here. I've started a little bit of the back stitching down here. Um, you can't see it, but I am going to finish the panel, sti back stitch the panel and then move into each of the other panels and then eventually do the back stitching up here. The back stitching is a lot because it's like single strands, double strands, different colors. Anyway, so much fun. This has got a lot of uh, um, a lot of progress in. I stitched this during uh, Athena's Harry Potter Stitchy Chat. Um, so yeah. Um, okay, next up is in this uh, candy cane bag that I made myself. It's just got a red interior. This project only has three colors. Um, so this is Reindeer Names by Spooky and Steve. Um, I started this on the 15th of December, 2021, and this is where I'm up to. <laughs> um, so this is stitched on an 18 count, two over one, um, full cross with the called for DMC. Um, this has probably had around, I don't know, 300 ish stitches this year. It's gone from 38.69% complete to 46.78% complete. Um, so, you know, it's not a lot. Um, and this needle minder here is from Tara for the Winter in Stars Hollow um, needle minder exchange. Which is hilarious because I got a teacup for the Spring in Stars Hollow and she got it. So we switched needle minders in two different retreats. It's fantastic. Um, this really just needs to be done. There is no reason <laughs> that this should not be done. Um, it just isn't. I need to like work out a rotation at some point with all of these projects from 2021 on, um, on a rotation, but like a lot of them are really big, like my next one. <laughs> um, so this is in a Spider-Man project bag. Now I did originally start this on the 18 count. I did then restart it on a 25 count. Wasn't feeling the 25 count and just added fabric to the side of my 18 count and went back to stitching on that. So um, this at the end of the year would have been, yeah, it would have been the 18 count because I only restarted, or who knows when I restarted the other one. Anyway, this is Spider-Man. It's from Addicted to Cross Stitch. I don't think it's available anymore either. Um, I started this on the 23rd of December, 2021. It is classified as a BAP under my, uh, classification system. Um, 
and this is stitched on 18 count white two over one full cross so this is where i'm up to so as you can see i sewed some cotton onto the sides and now it fits in my q snap much nicer um i'm just gonna fold this fabric because it's massive and literally this is what i've done so finish the two pages and working down um and i'll probably diagonally complete the pages why not something different for for um one of my projects um i'm also like sort of going across across the page if I can, depending on where the thread will take me. Um, so this was sitting at 6,386 stitches. Um, and it's currently sitting at 7,913 stitches and 13.19% complete. So not, not much. <laughs> um, this needle minder is from Itchy Stitchy. It's no longer available. Um, this is, this one will be for Ross at some point. <laughs> Whenever it gets finished, he loves Spider-Man. Um, okay, that was my 2021 whips. Now we're on to 2022. Yay. Oh my gosh, it's my whole, my whip pile's going to fall. Stay. Let's hope that that, that doesn't move. Um, all right, next up is The Collectors by Autumn Lane Stitchery. It's in this project bag that I made myself. Orange interior, orange zip. Um, this was started, this was my new year, new start for January 2022. Um, I'm stitching this on an 18 count, two over one, that I hand dyed myself. And I wonder if it's actually going to show. Yes, oh my gosh, it's the first time it's shown properly on a whip parade. I mean, it's blowing it out a smidge, but, you know, it is what it is. Um... Uh, at my last whip parade, this was sitting at 4,874 stitches um, and 22.14% complete. And it's now sitting at 5,338 stitches and 24.25% complete. Um, so what I've been doing... Ow, my needle. Uh, what I've been doing is outlining and filling in because it's just block stitching. Trees are really hard. Um, so outlining trees, really helpful. Um... But I'm enjoying this. So I do have like fluoro thread that I was using for gritting on this because, you know, hand dyed. Um, I am much better stitching on hand dyed fabric and using sulky to grid. So, you know, uh, needle minders are both from Ginger Stitch AU, uh, which a lot of my needle minders you will hear are from Ginger Stitch AU because Ginger Stitch has the best needle minders in Australia. I said it, I'm calling it. Um, they are also available on Amazon US and Amazon UK from our US and Amazon friends, uh, UK friends. Um, okay, next up is Diagon Alley by Country Magic Stitch. It's in this project bag that I made myself. Um, I'm using CXC thread for this one. Um, so this one has had a multitude of restarts. So I originally started it on the 17th of February, 2022, two over one, 10 stitch, wasn't enjoying it. Then I restarted it on 22 count, one over one, full cross, wasn't enjoying it. <laughs> restarted it again on 22 count, two over one, 10. So I restarted this again for the third time. Yep. Um, in August, 2023, but I'm counting it as my Feb 2022 start because that's when I originally started it, two over one, 10. So this is where it's up to at the moment. It doesn't look like much because not much is done. The sky is really pale as well, the clouds. Anyway, um, so this is currently sitting at 1,652 tent stitches and 7.33% complete. So not much is done. I worked down here. This was a prompt for fandom stitching. Um, so I worked the building down to the, to the yellow. Um, needle minder is from Itchy Stitchy. It's no longer available. I really need to work on these some more. I say this, <laughs> I'm going to say this a lot during this video, I think. Um, so, you know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, next up in this project bag that I also made, most project bags are made by me, um, is Dragon Phoenix. This is by Cute Patterns by Maria, so Maria Brovko. Um, I started this on the 22nd of February, 2022. Um, and this is where I'm up to. This is so close to a finish. It's ridiculous. Um, 
So this is currently sitting at 10,372 stitches. Sorry, this was at 10,372 stitches at 70.56% complete. Um, and it's currently sitting at 10,989 stitches and 74.76% complete. Now, <laughs> there is a lot that needs to be filled in, but it's a multitude of blends and half cross and full cross. And I haven't even looked at the back stitching yet. I've done a tiny, tiny bit of back stitch in white in the top of the Dragon Phoenix. Um, so this, yeah, there's not, there's not much to go. I just need to get a move on, but you know, we'll get there. Uh, Phoenix Needlewinder is from Ginger Stitch AU. Um, I really should pull this out again. I do quite enjoy working on this. I don't know why this is still a whip. Um, there may be some UFOs in this pile as well, because I feel like, yeah, I feel like there will be. Uh, next up is in my, where is this coming from? A <laughs> Darth Vader project bag. I also made this myself. Um, it's fully kitted in here also. Uh, this is Ahsoka by Owl's Head Design. Um, I started this on the 1st of May, 2022. Um, yeah, this is where I'm up to. Um, so she stitched on an 18 count white two over one full cross. Um, at the end of the year of 2023, this was at 6,045 stitches and 46.96% complete. Uh, and it's currently sitting at 7,174 stitches and 55.73% complete. So there is this thread, which is like everywhere. Um, but she's had some decent progress. Quite enjoy working on her. Uh, R2D2 Needleminder is from Inchworm Designs. Um, I have so many projects that are over 50% complete. I am quite fascinated by this. Um, okay, next up in this project bag that I made myself. Uh, this is the Ravenclaw Crest by DMX Stitch. I don't think this is available on Etsy anymore either. I <laughs> This has had no progress this year, which is fine. Um, and this is where I'm up to. I started this on the 7th of May, 2022. Um, this is stitched on an 18 count white two over one with the cold four DMC. Uh, and it's currently sitting at 24.27% complete and 3,494 stitches. I have not worked on this this year. <laughs> I don't know why. I have, a, I have a full page finish. I'm working down as I go. So it's just a matter of like getting a rotation in and actually like pulling out and working on these projects, but you know, we'll get there eventually. All right, next up is Ross's favorite project. Um, it is in a blue project bag. Um, and this is Siren of the Sea by Autumn Lane Stitchery. I don't know why this is Ross's favorite project of mine. It just is. Um, this is stitched on an 18 count blue ocean floor by color Cascade Fabrics, a two over one full cross with mostly the cold 4 DMC. Um, I have changed a couple of bits and pieces, but this is where it's up to. Um, so at the end of the year, this was sitting at 5,512 stitches and 41.08% complete. And it's currently sitting at 7,549 stitches and 56.26% complete. So I made, so I have changed the blue that was called for in her hair to the recommended variegated DMC. Uh, and then in her tail, I've also changed the blue to a different variegated DMC. Just to add a bit of color. So that's where she's up to. Um, needle minders. These two are from my uh, ONS online needlework store. She um, gives us little needle minders with every order. Uh, and this one's from Adam Hart Cross Stitch. Um, and this is what I was talking about previously with gritting with the sulky. So this is on an opal, but I've gritted with the sulky. Um, so I know where I'm stitching. So that is that one. Um, okay, next up, I actually have a photo for this. Um, is in this Special Investigation Services Black Music Society project back. This is from the uh, Novels and Needles box for 2022. Yep. Um, and this is Must Be Possible. 
by Katie Landis of the Black Needle Society. Um, yeah, this is stitched on the 16 count uh, fabric that came in the box. I have issues with the fabric. Um, I am using the Cold War DMC. Um, but, yeah. Um, okay, so this is where it's up to. <laughs> I zoom out here. Um, so at the end of the year, this was at 2,849 stitches and 24.03% complete. Uh, and it's currently sitting at 34,000, oh my god, 3,487 stitches and 29.41% complete. Um, I got, I had to stitch to the top because, um, I was gonna run out of fabric. Um, but like, that's, that's the margin at the top. Um, yeah. Fun times. Um... And I think at the bottom, I'm going to have roughly the same, but the bottom is not cut straight. Um, unfortunately, that's just what happens with the dia. It is what it is. Um, Needle Minder, though, is amazing. It's off the chart as well. Um, is from the Black Needle Society, Society from the Box. So I do love this. This is quite enjoyable to work on. Um, and it does feel... It doesn't feel like a 16 count, actually feels like a 14 count, um, which I'm thinking is maybe the problem, that it actually is a 14 count, not a 16 count, but who knows? <coughs> it's tagged as a 16 count, so we'll just go with that. All right, next up um, is in this Mandalorian helmet project bag. Um, and this is Rex by Owl's Head Design. This is a companion piece to Ahsoka. There are a lot of park threads on this, so I'm just giving you I'm just giving you the warning. Um, I started this on the 28th of May, 2022. Um, this is where I'm up to. So this is stitched on an 18 count white, two over one full cross with called for DMC. Um, at the end of the year, this was sitting at 6,320 stitches and 49.10% complete. It's currently sitting at 6,888 stitches. 53.51% complete. So I've been mainly working in the background. <laughs> and then some white stitches, which you can't see. Um, but the background is the most recent part that I've done. And then I've been trying to work down to join these borders because I'm paranoid that they're not gonna they're not gonna meet up. They should because I did um I did grid this. It's very faint because it fades. Um this needle minder, the stitcher is from Ginger Stitch AU. I don't know where the threads are for this because there are no threads in here. So I assume they're in my stitchy spot. Um, okay. Next up is my oldest stitch along. <laughs> that is still not complete. It is in this uh, Halloween project bag that I made myself. It is fully kitted. Um, and this is the Supernatural Stitch Along by the Witchy Stitcher. I mean, I'm so close. Um, it, I started this on the 2nd of June, 2022. Uh, and this is where I'm up to. Um, so it's stitched on an 18 count Menacing Storm by Crafty Lini with the Cold for DMC and Petite Treasure Braid that I have subbed in. Um, I don't know where this is at or how many stitches has been done because it, it's not accurate because there is a... There is a supernatural creature here which I'm subbing out. So my witch, sorry, my vampire... I made in the colors of Manon from Throne of Glass series and then where the fairy is here I'm actually I've actually retarded it to be a bat boy because why not <laughs> um uh from A Court of Thorns and Roses if you are unfamiliar with that fandom um so I'm part way through the ogre and then I only have four more left down below um as you can see I have subbed um, subbed in some sparklies um, on each one of these uh, and then the only difference is my siren has a custom crown with fractionals to make it super sparkly I mean super pointy um, yeah so needle minders both of them are from ginger stitch are you I really need to get this finished this is like 2022 stitch along that still is not complete 
Slack. So slack. Um, okay, next up I actually have a physical picture for. Uh, it is in this amazing project bag. Um, and it is Summer in Stars Hollow by the Black Needle Society. This is the only one I have not completed and it is just abominably close to a finish. Um, so this I started on the 23rd of June 2022. Um, it is full coverage. It is 9,025 stitches. Um, however, it's classified as a small on my, on my, on my um, rating. When you see how abominably close this is for a finish, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> this is where I'm up to. I literally have the gazebo and a couple of um, barbershop singers. Um, so this was at 6,257 stitches and 69.33% complete. And it's currently sitting at 7,972 stitches and 88.33% complete. So... I need to get a move on. <laughs> uh, this needle minder is from Ginger Stitch AU. Um, yeah, I really need to get a move on. Actually, maybe I can use this for a frog warts prompt and aim for a finish. Yeah, okay. Things to think about, Liz. Let's be real, most of this whip parade is just gonna be me thinking about what I can do for frog warts finishes as well. Um, okay, next up. Oh, I also have a physical photo for this. Look, Ross getting a bit of a break. Um, it's in a purple project bag I made for myself. Um, this is the fox from Cottage Garden Samplings. This is from the A Year in the Woods. Yeah, Year in the Woods series. Um, I'm stitching this on an 18 count that I hand dyed. This is where I'm up to. <laughs> it's not the greatest start. Um, I started this on the 1st of July 2022. Um, this has had no work at all on it this year. Um, it's sitting at 1,234 stitches and 18.39% complete. I don't know why, it's just not calling to me. Uh, little Foxy Boy Needle Minder is from Ginger Stitch AU. Um, and this is a blue that I hand-dyed myself. And it is, it's, it is more blue in person. It's showing up very grey on, on screen, on camera. For me. Um, okay. Uh, what is next? July. <laughs> um, okay. This is this project is in. I've got needles flying at me. Uh, black project bag with a Harry Potter interior. Um, this is Frogwarts Year One uh, from Katie Landis of the Black Needle Society. Um, I started this on the 2nd of July, 2022. It is on an 18 count that I hand dyed myself. Um, it is using the called for over dyes, hand dyes, um, with, uh, I subbed out the DMC. I've subbed out the snowball, which was a called for white for B5200 because snowball just wasn't showing up on my fabric. Um, and then I have subbed in some treasure braid and some DMC variations. So this is where I'm up to. I hate that this show's so yellow when it's like pinky blue. Anyway, this is where I'm up to. Um, this is currently sitting at 4,502 stitches and 44.04% complete. Uh, Philosopher's Stone Needleminder is from Itchy Stitchy. It's no longer available and my... Liz Marauder's Map Needle Minder is from the Frogwarts Year 3 box. So I need to get a move on. <laughs> year 3 is finished. Year 4 is finished. Year 5 will be finished during the retreat if I don't. Uh, you know, that'll be really frustrating. Um, but the birdie bots that appear throughout um, throughout this pattern, um, I'm doing in the DMC variations. Uh, and then I am subbing in Petite Treasure Break for some fancy bits. So the whole snitch is stitched in metallic thread. So fun times there. <laughs> um, oh, I can't wait for Frog Wars. It's my favorite time of year. Um, okay. Next up is in this project bag. Now, it has a red interior because I made this while, uh, when I thought that I was a uh, Gryffindor. You can see by the green, um, the 
green floss card. I am not actually a Gryffindor. Um, that was a um, crisis that I went through during Frogwarts year three, year four, last year, yep, year four. Um, so this is Frogwarts year two by Katie Landis of the Black Needle Society. Um, I started this one, I think on the 3rd of July, 2022. Um, and this is on another piece that I, of 18 count that I hand dyed myself with the Core 4 Overdyes and then obviously the metallic thread. And this one has got park threads. It's got needles being flung at me because apparently it's not sticking to my needle minder. This is where I'm up to. Um, so this was at 6,233 stitches uh, and 59.57% complete. And it's currently at 6,535 stitches and 62.45% complete. Um, so not much has been done. <laughs> um, Enemies of the Air Beware is done in a petite treasure braid red, so it looks like blood. Um, the diamonds are mostly done. I do have part of them half stitched that I need to get stitched. Um, there's a bit to do on, on from what's year one and two. Uh, I need to get a move on. A little bit slack that I've still got those going, but I didn't do the first two retreats, so... Don't hold it against me. Uh, okay, next up, oh, I also have a picture for, is in this Honey Drips bag I made myself. Um, and this is Reaping Love by Silver Creek Samplers. Um, I started this on the 17th of July, 2022. Um, and I'm stitching this on a 16 count cash by Forbidden Fiber Coat with the DMC conversion. So it does call for two over dyes, I think. Um, I'm just doing DMC conversion. I don't know what happened with my, my, my margins, but I am going to get really close to this edge. Um, but this is where I'm up to. Um, so this was at 3,627 stitches and 79.21% complete. Uh, and it's currently sitting at 4,039 stitches and 88.21% complete. So. Amazing. <laughs> Uh, there is really not much to go on that one as well. Maybe I can aim for that one to be a finish at Frogwarts too. <laughs> gonna be like aiming for so many finishes and it's probably not gonna happen, which is fine. It is what it is. Um, all right, next up in this floppy pink project bag with a purple interior um, is the pastel uh, glory that is Disney um, and this is Small World by Stitcherella. It is a free chart on their Facebook group. I do have a couple of park threads and they're getting tangled. Um, this is stitched on 18 count white, two over one full cross with cold for DMC and this is where I'm up to. Um, so at the end of the year this was at 6,018 stitches at 18.08 percent complete. Uh, and it's currently sitting at 6,925 stitches and 20.80% complete. So I'm just going to fold fold this. So the background, the sky, is actually half, half crosses, half stitch, 10 stitch. <laughs> and the actual buildings are full cross. So this is... This is fun. Maybe I can use this for a Frogwarts prompt. Um, Polyjuice Potion Needle Minder is from Itchy Stitchy. It is also no longer available. Um, okay. Um, next up is in this, oh my gosh, super cute ghosty project bag. This is from the 805 Stitcher. This was in a Black Needle Society box. Um, the interior is also pink ghosties. Uh, and this is Happy Halloween by Autumn Lane Stitchery. Uh, I started this on the 16th of July, 2022. Um, and I'm stitching this on 18 count white with the Cold 4 DMC. This is where I'm up to. So this has had no progress so far this year. Um, it will get progress during Frogwarts, so fear not. Um, this is currently sitting at 1,627 stitches and 22.35% complete. So the reason I don't really actively work on this is because a lot of prompts um, for Frogwarts and for um, Stars Hollow called for a project that was published in a magazine and this was in Just Cross Stitch. So I use it for that. I love it. I want to work on it, but 
um, you know, I've got to keep it just in case. <laughs> Um, all right, next up is a project that is literally 300 stitches away from a finish, and that's really sad. Is in this this project bag <laughs> that I made, um, and this is the Haunted Library by Lola Crow Cross Stitch. Um, I started this on the 5th of August 2022, and the only reason I have not completed it before this is because I'm saving it for Frogwarts. Can't count it as a finish, unfortunately, because I should have left 500 stitches, um, but you know, it is what it is. I need it for a prompt for something hanging upside down. Um, I think I need to backstitch. I think I need to do some backstitch on this. Um, anyway, this is where I'm up to. It's stitched on a 30, uh, on an 18 count vintage country mocha with a cold four DMC. Um, and this was at 10,399 stitches and 77.53% complete. And currently sitting at 16,595 stitches and 98.22% complete. I literally have just Mary Shelley's dress to go. <laughs> Everything else is done. There is a massive counting mistake in here. Don't I don't even know what happened in here. Um, but I need it for a project with something upside down because Vlad Dracula is upside down. And there's a cat. Oh, I didn't think of that. I could use it for any one of those. Um... And statue because that's a bust. Ah, oh, things I could use it for. Uh, needle minder is from Ginger Stitch at you. But so close to a finish, it's actually tragic. Um, is there another needle minder on here? There is. This is also from Ginger Stitch at you. It's a little fairy door. Okay. My God, my projects are all over the floor. Um, okay, I'm gonna need to change the battery shortly. Uh, next up is in this project bag, um, it's a pink interior. I don't have a cover photo for this because there is no cover photo. This was a free chart that was found. Uh, and this is Wama Wink. I started this on the 6th of August, 2022. So where I'm up to? She stitched on a 16 count Fiesta um, from Crafty Lini with the Cold Four DMC. This was a fabric of the month. Um, she's had no progress this year. This is sitting at 957 stitches and 28.08% complete. However, I'm pretty sure I need a prompt for Frogwards to stitch on something pink. And if I finish the project, if I finish year five, I have something with pink. Uh, no problema, needle, mi needle minder is from Inchworm Designs. So, such a crazy show. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, should be good for a couple more. Uh, next up is... Uh, in this super cute project bag that I made. Um, and this is Six Cute Ghosts by Cute Patterns by Maria. I'm stitching this all in one. Um, I may... I may change that. I may just stitch a couple and cut them out and frame them individually because I'm not sure I want all of them. But we shall see. I'm going to show it to you all in one anyway. Uh, so I started this on the 19th of October 2022. And this is where I'm up to. Um, so this is stitched on 18 count black with call for DMC. Um, this has had no progress this year either. This is sitting at 947 stitches and 7.59% complete based on the whole thing. Um, so <laughs> that's what I've done. Not much. This needle mind is from my ONS. Um, this one is from Inchworm Designs. It, no, it's from Itchy Stitchy. It's also no longer available. Um, okay. We shall see on that one. Um, okay, next up is in another Halloween project bag because I love Halloween. I made this myself. Why is there a needle with thread? Just just chilling. Just just chilling here because it fell off my needle minder. Why not? This is from uh, this is the haunted carousel by the witchy stitcher. Black thread everywhere. Um, I started this on the 24th of October, 2022, and this is where I'm up to. This is an 18 count that I hand dyed myself with the called for DMC. Um, this has had no progress so far this year, but it's currently sitting at 2,565 stitches and 32.42% complete. Blue moss needle minder and this planchette need needle minder. Are both from Ginger Stitch AU. 
I moved down, worked on a little horse. Super cute. Um, I was going to work on this at Vic Stitches, but I ended up taking a new start instead. Um, okay, next up is a bap. It is my biggest bap. <laughs> it is in uh, this amazing Hades project bag by um, Jasmine Custom Bags. Um, it's got like little Mickey head um, zipper pulls. Uh, and this is the Villains Bap that I'm doing. Um, it is from Etsy. I don't know if it's available anymore. Um, this was a birthday start in 2022 and uh, it was started on the 24th of November. Um, so I, <laughs> I'm i not going to remove it because it's permanently in this Q-snap. It doesn't get removed because it's so much fabric. This is where I'm up to. This is stitched on a 25 count um, easy guide, easy grid, sure, um, with the cord for DMC. I'm stitching this two over one tent. Um, at the end of the year last year, it was sitting at 14,787 stitches at 8.16% complete, and it's currently sitting at 17,167 stitches and 9.81% complete. So I'm working down. <laughs> I'm just going to work down with like what fits in my Q snap without going like right to the edge. Um, otherwise it's going to end up really bulky. I tried doing it page by page and it was way, way too bulky. Like behind his hat, behind like this part here of his hat, it's like, it's solid. It's just, there's no give. So now that I have learned how to pin stitch and loop start and pin stitch start, my life is much happier stitching on this. Um, so yeah, needle minders. So vampire kitty, uh, moth and stab, stab, stab are from ginger stitch AU. Okay. I need to change the battery. So this is a good time to take a break. Okay. I am back. We have a fresh new battery. Yay. Because I'm probably just under halfway through <laughs> with all of the whips. Hopefully this, camera angle is fine it's probably changed from the first part but it is what it is um all right next up is in this little women project bag this was from the black needle society i believe the nice list box from 2022 um the project that i am working on in this bag is santa's stamp collection also by katie landis of the black needle society um this was the stitch along that was in the nice list box um, I started this on the 2nd of December, 2022, um, and this is where I'm up to. So it was called for like a beigey color. Um, I decided to pull this one out. So this is 18 count Emerald City, uh, by Crafty Leany using, uh, mostly the called for DMC. However, I have switched out the called for 608 to triple six. Um, so this is where I'm up to. Um, this has had no progress so far this year. This is sitting at 10,664 stitches and 68.18% complete. Um, this needle mine is from somewhere in the UK. I can't remember where I got it from, but super cute. I just need to get back to this and work on it some more. This is missing thread, which means I don't know where that thread is gonna have to find it okay next up is a whole bunch of mini projects that i have in the same project bag um it is in this sparkly gnome project bag with all of their threads um okay first up is kakapo and Takahi, I believe I'm pronouncing that correct. Probably not, but who knows. This is one of the December Down Under smalls from Lindy Stitches. I started this on the 9th of December, 2022. And this is where I'm up to. So I'm stitching these on, I think it's an 18 count that I hand dyed myself. Um, this has had no progress so far this year. This is sitting at 306 stitches and 24.44% complete. Really need to get a move on. These are tiny. Um, they are 51 by 69 and not full coverage. So 
they are not not big pieces um okay and the next one that also goes into this project bag is the cassowary also from the december down under series from lindy stitches i'm pretty sure i have not worked on this since i started it um which is dismal um i started this on the 15th of december 2022 which way is up i'm pretty sure this way <laughs> this is what i've done um so this is on the same fabric that i hand dyed myself it is a green it's shot it, to me it's looking blue on my camera hopefully showing up as green um green for you but it's green um so this is 152 stitches and 9.07 percent complete so not much is done um okay next up in this book in this book in this bag is nordic nutcracker by tiny modernist um this was started on the 17th of december 2022 um this is where i'm up to i'm stitching this on an 18 count white opal but it's like a sprayed opal not a woven um with the cold for dmc i have not made any progress on this this year it's sitting at 1451 stitches and 58.11 percent complete um needle minder is from my lns what i'm going to do so it does come with like two corner pieces and two thingy pieces i'm literally just going to do this over here and then fill this in um and go from there this actually fits two prompts for frogwarts as well so maybe this will get some work on i need to i should be writing these down liz when you're watching this through write these things down <laughs> um so yeah this is where i'm up to he is affectionately known as the pickle cracker because um he looks like he's on a pickle so that is the pickle cracker uh, okay, next up is Père Noël from um, Hands On Design. Uh, I started this on the 19th of December, 2022. Um, and this is where I'm up to. This is stitched on a 16 count black, I believe. Um, this has had so much progress this year because when I start, or oh, last year, whatever, progress up until today um actually i'm pretty sure it's progress in the last six months because i'm pretty sure i didn't work on it at all until i picked it up recently um so i had seven stitches done on this thing um at, <laughs> at the end of the year last year um this is currently 309 stitches um and it's 26.03 percent complete i don't know where this needle minder is from it's from somewhere so they're, they're not big. I just need to work on them. It's a problem. Um, okay. Next up is the final one that I have left from the Lindy Stitches December Down Under series. And it is Kiwi. Um, I started this on the 31st of December, 2022. Um, and this is where I'm up to. So this is on the same hand dyed fabric of, as the other ones. Um... So at the end of the year, this was at 888 stitches and 47.64% complete. And it's currently sitting at 1,212 stitches and 65.02% complete. So there's really not much left to go on this one, but is really dense stitching in here. So that'll be interesting. But yeah, another little small closer to a finish. We'll get there eventually. Um, that was the last whip for 20 no second last whip for 2022 my final whip for 2022 is in this amazing project bag from lynn x stitches creates um oh my god and it is from the halloween athena's little box of horrors the trick box from the black needle society i have kitted these up with the planchette floss drops from ginger stitch au just fyi um okay this is the stephen king house by the witchy stitcher which was the project for the box i'm stitching this for my bestie um because she's a mad stephen king fan and now that she cross stitches i'm still not gonna make her do it it's a lot <laughs> um i i really enjoy stitching this though and i'm glad that it's going to someone that loves it um so this is the project uh and this is where i'm up to 
So this was also started on the 31st of December 2022. Um, stitched on 18 count volcano stitching mystery with the called for DMC. Um, at the end of the year, it was at 2,620 stitches and 17.01% complete. Uh, it's currently sitting at 3,772 stitches and 24.48% complete. So I can also use this for frog wards because there is pink and there is a crown on this table. I'm sure there are other things. But this is what what is done. Uh, needle minder is what came in the box. Also. Um, okay. Now we're into 2020. 2023. Um, it's in a Quidditch project bag. Uh, this is Do What Makes You Happy by Emma Congdon from Stitch Rovia. This may be a UFO because I have not worked on this since I started it, I'm pretty sure. Um, I started this on the 6th of January 2023. Um, this is where I'm up to. It's stitched on a 16 count back in black by Color Cascade. Uh, and this is 381 stitches. So I um yeah, I don't know what it is. I just I'm not enjoying it. Um you know, maybe I'll get it completed for the sake of having it completed, but we'll see. It's not really calling to me. Needle minder is from um Adam Hart Cross Stitch. We shall see. Um okay, next up is my First 2023 sale that is not finished. It's in a um, space bag. Um, and this is the Hubble Stitch Along from Climbing Goat Designs. I absolutely love this. Don't get me wrong. I love it. I hate my fabric. I hate my fabric so much. <laughs> um, the fabric is killing my brain. Uh, don't enjoy it. Um, I started this on the 10th of January, 2023. Um, and this is where I'm up to. So this is stitched on a 16 count Gothic by Picture This Plus. Picture This Plus has the most amazing colors. Like look at the density. Look at how amazing this fabric is. I hate the softness. The softness drives me insane. I feel like my stitches look like absolute garbage on the softness. Um, this one here is what got me hooked on this thing. I really just need to get it completed. Um, the bottom has a whole bunch of backstitching of the um names of the nebulas i'm not going to actually actually put them on um it's just going to say wonders of the hubble telescope uh, and then there's like a massive hubble telescope with earth in here that needs to be filled into um so this is currently sitting at 1000 sorry it's currently sitting at 11,531 stitches and 58.32 percent complete now that i have the full the full thing um space needle minder it's from Ginger Stitch AU because where else would my needle might just be from? I really need to finish this because it's just, it's from 2023. Um, all right, next up is another 2023 stitch along that is not completed. It is in a spider bag. Um, it has silks from Silks For You in there. Um, and this is the Steady Thread stitch along I don't have a finished photo, so you, you get the gist. Um, this is stitched on 18 count mystery from Volcano Stitching. I didn't iron anything. Uh, it's a black work stitch along. Um, a needle minder is from Inchworm Designs, but yeah, now that I've got some more silk colors, I'll be able to get some progress on it, but it's so big. <laughs> It'll get finished at some point. It's not a priority. I'm just not, it's not calling to me. So it's fine sitting in its bag until I want to work on it. So, hey ho, let's go. Um, okay, next two projects are kept in the same project bag and it is this amazing project bag from uh, Jasmine Custom Bags. I got this custom made. Look at how amazing this snack fabric is. This is a mini, um, and it's got the rainbow Mickey zippers. Interior is purple. Um, the front pocket has my uh, my needle case that I took with me to America and my tiny little travel scissors um, that I took with me to America. And I only worked on one of these while I was over there. Um, so the first one that 
comes up is the princesses and this is from happy sloth studios um, i started this on the 21st of february 2023 and this is where i'm up to um this is on an 18 count mystery from live and die la with the called for dmc needle minder is from ginger stitch au so i did not work on this in la so this is sitting at 426 stitches and 2.08% complete. However, I can now use these for fandom stitching prompts. Um, I can also use this for frog warts because it's got a crown on it and pink. <laughs> Things that my brain goes to. Um, so that was the first one. The next one in that bag is the com companion piece, which is the villains also by Happy Sloth Studios. This one did get worked on in America because I enjoyed it. Um, this was started on the 21st of February, 2023. And this is where I'm up to. So she got filled in, uh, mostly. Um, so this is on an 18 count Wisteria by Live and Die LA with the Cold for DMC. Needle my notes from Ginger Stitch AU. Uh, this was at 4, 000, uh, from 485 stitches and 2.49% complete. Um, and it's currently sitting at 1,391 stitches and 7.14% complete. So, also amazing. Um, they will now be able to get some progress on them. So, they're in there. Um, next up is also a potential, potential UFO. Um, it's in this Slytherin project bag that I made myself. I ironed my label on upside down. Um, this is Shoot for the Moon from Emma Congdon. I think it's its name. I don't know. It's from a magazine. Um, I started this on the 21st of May, 2023. Uh, this is where I'm up to. So it's stitched on an 18 count navy uh, with the call for DMC. Uh, needle miner is from Itchy Stitchy. It's no longer available. This is where I'm up to. I don't really enjoy working on this. <laughs> um, I don't know what it is. I just am not enjoying it. So I may just frog this and just use this fabric for something else. Um, so at the end of the year, it was at 613 stitches and it's currently at 905. So another potential UFO. More than likely, that's what will happen because it's just not for me and I have no idea why I started it. Um, okay. Nope, I got the wrong wrong chart that's not helpful um next project is in this star wars project bag um it is may the 4th by forbidden fiber co um i started this on the 5th of may 2023 i'm stitching with this with the kit fabric and floss um so this is uh stitched on choke chart a 16 count charcoal ada from forbidden fiber co with the forbidden fiber co flosses and this is where I'm up to. Um, so at the end of the year, this got uh, this was at 1,276 stitches and 39.54% complete. Um, and it's currently sitting at 2,180 stitches and 67.56% complete. So I'm going to have a bit of fabric left over, but that's fine. Um, I've only got... Uh, the rest of the R and like a couple of motifs and a couple of stars. So not much is left to go on this at all. Um, and this will also, also be a finish. Um, okay. Next up is, I don't have a cover photo for, um, it is from my friend Jen from Wolf Down the Rabbit Hole. It is a quote from, um, Akatar, um, be careful how you speak about my high lady. I believe it says, this is where I'm up to. Um, I started this on the 31st of May, 2023. This is an 18 count that I hand dyed myself. I'm stitching this with DMC 310 and then Silks For You Blues will go down here with the gems. Um, I have not worked on this um, since the end of the year whip parade. It's at 245 stitches and 26.57% complete. Needle Minder is from Ginger Stitch AU. Yeah, I don't know what bag this goes in. Oh, it goes in with another project that's not up yet. <laughs> that's why. Um, okay, next up is in 
this project bag, purple interior, bright flosses. Um, this is the nostalgic Ouija board from the Witchy Stitcher. Um, I started this on the 24th of June, 2023. And this is where I'm up to. Um, oh, look at this candy colored glory. Uh, this is stitched on an 18 count black, two over one full cross with the cord for DMC. Um, this has not had any progress this year. It's sitting at 2,055 stitches and 26.85% complete. Amazing. I need to go through and see if this fits any prompts for Fogwarts as well. Actually, I'm pretty sure black and purple fits this. Uh, Needle Miter is from you just Stitch AU because there is black. This is filled in with 310. Uh, so we are. I really need to work on this again. How many times can I say this in a whip road? Alrighty. Next up is a 2023 sale that is not completed. However, now I can look at completing it because the other villains have come out. So this is in my amazing villains bag. I love this fabric. It's incredible. Um, and this is the Disney Villains Mugshot Stitch Along from Abby Sue Designs. And now that the other villains have come out, I can finish this and remove who I want and add who I want and do what I want. <laughs> um, so I started this on the 8th of August, 2023. And <laughs> this is what I've done. Um, this is stitched on an 18 count mystery uh, by Volcano Stitching with the Cold 4 DMC. Um, I don't know what this is at because I haven't put the full thing into Pattern Keeper. One villain is done. Almost a second villain is done. Uh, Professional Overthinker Needleminder is from Inchworm Designs. Monet Lilies is from Ginger Stitch AU. Cinderella's Carriage is from Black Needle Society. So, now that the other villains have been released, I can work on this. I am likely also using this for Frogwarts. For one of the prompts which calls for a name um, and Claude Frollo, Frollo is on this and Claude is a first name so I can use this for that prompt that's gonna go away until I figure out who, who I'm gonna move around um, okay next up is in this Sabrina bag this is from the 2023 Halloween box from the Black Needle Society I believe I'm, yeah, because it was screen, it was a stream, stream, scary thing. Anyway, TV, TV themed box. Oh, words. Um, this is Apothecary Shop by the Witchy Stitcher. Um, I started this on the 3rd of October, 2023. I went crazy with this fabric choice. <laughs> this is where I'm up to. I'm stitching this on an 18 count. I think it's Confetti by Color Cascade. It did say mystery on it when I bought it, but I'm 90% sure that this is Confetti. It. I don't know why it shows up patchy like it does. It's not patchy. Like the greens don't show up and it's so frustrating. Um. Anyway, this is literally just stitched with 310. Um. At the end of the year, this is sitting at 1,647 stitches and 46.82% complete. Uh, and it's currently sitting at 1,979 stitches and 56.25% complete. So not much to go on that one. Um, it is quite, quite fun to work on. Um, is there a needle minder on this one? Yep. Luna Moth needle minder is from Ginger Stitch AU. Okay. Oh my god, that pile's gonna fall. Alright, next up in what is happening here? Oh, okay. My needle mind is stuck through a whole project bag. Um, it's in this rainbow jack o' lantern project bag. This is Salem Sisters Apothecary by Primrose Cottage Stitches. Yep. Um, I started this on the 16th. The 6th of October, 2023. Because words are hard. And this is where I'm up to. So I'm stitching this on an 18 count Woodland Forest by Crafty Leany with um, PR070 from Silksview, which is the black. Needleminder is from Ginger Stitch AU. 
Um, at the end of the year, this had 90 stitches and 3.10% complete. It's now sitting at 926 stitches and 31.87% complete. I love this fabric, but I am back stitching as I go. This is quite enjoyable to work on. My black silk though, um, it stains my fingers when I use it. <laughs> so I do this sparingly, otherwise my fingertips <laughs> end up um, black, which is sometimes a fun time, but mostly not. Um, all right, next up, I also have not worked on this at all since I started it. Um, is in this unicorn project bag with my threads. Um, this is a Halloween wall by Miss Chloe. Um, I started this on the 21st of October, 2023. Uh, and this is stitched on a 36 count that I hand dyed myself, 36 count even weave. Um, and this is where I'm up to. I've done three bats and a moon. <laughs> I don't know what this was up to. Um, Hydrangea Needle Minder is from Ginger Stitch AU. <clears throat> um, this fabric is a lot more orange than it's showing up, which is a little bit frustrating, but I love it. Super cute. Okay, next up is... I have a photo for this one. I don't know why I didn't get it out. Um, it's in my Paint Splatter Project bag. Um, this is Frederick the Literate by Dimensions. Um, this is one of my uh, focus pieces. So this normally gets worked on on a Saturday. It did not get worked on this Saturday, so I actually need to pull it out and put some work on it. Um, I started this on the 9th of August, 2023. There are parked threads. I apologize. I was like, is this upside down? Yes, to me. This is, this is where I'm up to. Um, so this is stitched on the... Kit 14 count black Ada and the floss. This was at 8,425 stitches and 36.52% complete at the end of the year. Uh, and it's currently sitting at 14,561 stitches and 63.12% complete. So it's had solid progress. Um, I'm also going to use this for frog warts for the prompt for cat and statue. <laughs> And sleeping. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, needle minder, Stingray needle minder is from Ginger Stitch AU. Um, Books needle minder is from Inchworm Designs. So, that, I literally took that out of the Q snap for everyone. Good times. Um, okay, next up is another potential UFO. Um, it's in a Star Wars project bag. It has nothing to do with Star Wars, but it's in the project bag with the, with the threads. Um, and this is the Gilmoreism Stitch Along by Forbidden Fiber Co. Um, I'm stitching this on an 18 count Celadon. Two over one full cross. Started this in October 2023. This is where I'm up to. Um, I'm also using um, Cottage Garden threads. Threads. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not feeling it. So this is probably going to go into my um, potential UFO pile. Needle minder is from Ginger Stitch AU. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't really want to work on things that just aren't calling to me. Because there are so many other things that I could be stitching on. Alright, next up which is in this mini project bag, is uh, The Poison Apple by Bella Filipina. Um, this was my birthday start for last year. So this uh, was started on the 24th of November, 2023. Um, I am stitching this on a 32 count Lugana that I hand dyed myself. This is where I'm up to. Um, so she was at 2,620 stitches and 24.64% complete. And she's currently sitting at 4,323 stitches and 40.65% complete. So I've been working on the border. Uh, Needle Minder is from Ginger Stitch AU. Both of them, they just snap together. So <laughs> I did end up having to order. Oh, I actually didn't, don't know if I ordered it. I need another, another 
um, another lot of the the greeny black petite treasure braid that is the frame because I don't really have much left. Um, but that's what she's up to. I am stitching her two over two full cross except for the skin, which is one over one full cross. Which it looks amazing and that's why I'm doing it <laughs> because otherwise it's so fiddly. Um, but it looks pretty good. All right, next up is a, um, a project that I started with friends is in a Halloween project bag. It is a Christmas project um, and it is Sunburnt Christmas from Fiddlesticks AU. I started this with Miss Chloe and Mel Rouvray. Um, both of them are finished. I am not. Um, this is where I'm up to. I started this on Christmas Eve. Um, so this was the Sunburnt Xmas Sal. Um, I am stitching this on an 18 count mystery volcano opal. Um, this was at 569 stitches and 14.08% complete. And I am currently sitting at 1,442 stitches and 35.68% complete. I need to get a move on. It's shocking that my friends have finished this and I have not. Uh, Needle Miner is Glow in the Dark it is from Ginger Stitch AU. And these glow like crazy. Um, alrighty. Next up is in my dark wizardry project bag with the threads um, and this is the dark mark by a russian designer i'm not going to attempt to pronounce their names uh this was gifted to me by my lovely friend amanda um this i started uh my new year's eve new start on the 31st of december 2023 and this is where i'm up to so i'm stitching this on a 16 count menacing storm by crafty Lini with the called for dmc um, this was not in my whip parade last year, so this is new. Um, stitch and flick needle minder Slytherin, Slytherin version, um, is from a shop overseas. Um, Felix Felicis needle minder is from Ichi Stitchy. It's no longer available. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm up to. This one came overseas with me too, so this had some progress this year too. Um, so this is 639 stitches and 7.67% complete so far um okay next up is my new year new start and a bap it's another bap um it is in this amazing linux stitches halloween bag um that she gifted me when she was here it has got a lot of thread it's not full, this, this is not full coverage either. Um, so this is Epic Mario. This is available for free over at the Sprite, Sprite Stitch Forum. Um, this is stitched on a 18 count that I hand dyed myself. This is where I'm up to. So this was started on the 1st of January this year. This is 1,160 stitches and 2.23% complete. So not much. <laughs> Um, it's solid. Like this is a full coverage block. Um, I was starting to move over to the next word and then I'm like, let's finish this first <laughs> and see what happens. So this is also in a Q snap permanently because it is so much fabric. Um, maybe my end of year whip parade, if this gets more work, will I take it out of the Q snap? If you heard that, that was all of my projects sliding down off the pile. Um, okay, the next project I'm counting as like, this is the start date for the whole thing. Because it's also a stitch along. It is in this The Black Needle Society project bag, which I love. It's appropriate because it is the Black Needle Society uh, celebrate all year stitch along. Um, I finished January, which this is January. I have finished it. I just need to put the magnet on the back and then do the trim which today the day i am filming uh, black needle society for the novels and needles box for this year I had a finishing class with lois from lady.creates um i'm pretty sure it's behind my camera yes so we finished um we finished this like chenille and then the mirror from the box actually fits into the pouch um so now that i have finished this 
with the chenille trim and I know how to add it, I can now finish these with the chenille trim and the rickrack because we learned how to do that today as well because Lois was very, very helpful. Anyway, so I finished January and I started February. I don't know which way is up. We, we, we're just going to assume that this way is up. I probably think that's fairly accurate. Um, so this is February. This is National Pie Month. This is stitched on a 32 count Wichelt linen in a blue. I don't know what color blue, but uh, this is what it is. Needleminder is from uh, Ginger Stitch AU. I have not started any of the others. However, I do have the fabric for, for the rest. So March is also on the same as January and February. Um, so January, February, March, April, May, June is on a navy. Um, I am using uh, Outback Sky by number 12 Stitch Co. It's number 12, isn't it? Yep. So I'm using Outback Sky. Uh, then July, August, September is on a teal which I am using Wit Sunday by number 12 Stitch Co. And then the last one called for a, um, a Zweiger that we couldn't, I couldn't get here at all. Um, so I am going to be using this, which is Whispers Blue Linen from um, Whoopsie Daisy Designs. So Lazy Daisy Stitchery. Um, I picked that up at some point. I'm not sure if I got that at Big Stitches. Maybe I did. So that's the Celebrate Year Round sale. Um, okay, next up is um, part of the 2024 Quaker Flag sale. It is in this frog rip it <laughs> project bag from the 805 Stitcher. This was from the Black Needle Society Nice List box. Um, and this is the Australian Quaker Flag from Vivsters. Um, I am stitching this on a 25 count white, one of one full cross. Uh, I started this on the 26th of January, 2024 as part of the sale. So this has had 1,315 stitches and is currently at 2.87% complete. Um, uh, this needle minder is from Ginger Stitch AU. Um, I really need to, I'm filling out the squares cause I feel like it's going to make it easier to fill in. We'll see how it goes. I have not really worked on this that much, but I'll get there. It's also a massive project. Um, all right, next up is a 2024 sale that I am not caught up on. Just assume I'm not caught up on any of my sales. This is in a pumpkin Halloween project bag with my threads. Um, and this is the James Webb Stitch Along by Climbing Goat Design. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I have not even finished part one. Um, I started this on the 26th of February, 2024. It is on much nicer fabric than my Hubble Sal. Uh, this is where I'm up to. So this is an 18 count volcano stitching mystery fabric. Um, and I'm using the Core 4 DMC. Uh, it's currently sitting at 1,782 stitches. Uh, Sailor Moon Needleminder, I'm pretty sure is from Itchy Stitchy, I think. So I have done this one, but the first release was also all these hexes, which I have not completed. I need to get a move on because I am well behind on this one. It's fine. They're start alongs for a reason, not a keep up and stitch along. Um, okay, next up, um, I don't know why they're the wrong way around in my book, but this is in project bag um this is the dragons stitch along also by climbing goat design this is dragons field guide um i started this on the 10th of january 2024 which is why i don't understand why they're around the wrong way in my in my book uh this is where i'm up to <laughs> um so this is stitched on an 18 count that i hand dyed myself um this is also not a complete stitch along as yet um, but this is 6,608 stitches. Um, I don't know what happened with my starting and why I have so little on the bottom and so much on the top. I stuffed up somewhere, but, um, 
the wyvern is missing a couple of toes and then he's done the welsh dragon took me 600 years but it is done and i am working on the most recent release i still need to do the japanese dragon and the hydra and finish the border but this is quite enjoyable to work on this is on an 18 count that i dyed myself needle minder is um a little stash dragon is from ginger stitch au um okay okay not many left to go uh next up which is in my star wars project bag that i switch out my um star wars travel posters from uh country magic stick stitch this next one is dagobah uh, i started this on the 19th of february 2024 after i finished tatooine before our holiday um i'm stitching this two over one tent this is where i'm up to i'm using cxc on this as well this is where I'm up to. Um, so this is 3,682 stitches and 16.34% complete. So yeah. I was using this for fandom for something. I can't remember what I was using it for. That uh, needle minder is from Inchworm Designs. Uh, Alright, next up is my Long Dog Leap Day piece. Um, I've put it in this flamingo bag because uh, it's cute. Why not? Uh, I started this on the 29th of February 2024, so on leap day. Um, I'm not going to open up the whole fabric because I've done the smallest, smallest, smallest start. Um, this is where I'm up to. So I'm stitching this 25 count one over one full cross using PR070 from Silks For You, which is the black, um, and then PR061, which is the variegated jewel toned. Um, so this, this is what that looks like. Yeah, um, I am stitching this one stitch at a time on the diagonal. Uh, both needle minders are from G Ginger Stitch AU. So I need to get a move on with this. Otherwise it won't be completed before late day 2028. I have time to get it done. It's fine. Um, okay, next up is Dragon Lace. Um, this is from Author Embroidery Design. I saw someone share this on the... Um, which you stitch a group that they were stitching it and I just got hooked. Um, I am stitching this in my custom project bag from Jasmine Custom Bags. It's a mini and it's a fourth wing thing. Isn't that stunning? Um, so it says Riders Quadrant, fourth wing, uh, Bazgiaf War College. Stunning. So she did make this in a full size one and I wanted a mini so she could do it on the back. And then I got my name done on the front and I got one for my friend Mel um, and um, got Mel's name on the front. And then look at these, <laughs> look at the lightning, like zipper pulls. Love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, anyway, I started this on the 23rd of March, 2023. Um, this is one of four. So there's four different dragons. I'm stitching the one that Ross has put up on the screen. Um, this is where I'm up to. So this is stitched on an 18 count glitch with the cold four DMC. Um, this is a crafty leany fabric and this was a fabric of the month. This here is 607 stitches and this is 12.75% complete, but this has a lot of back stitching. Uh, little, leaf, ne little leaf needle minder is from Ginger Stitch AU. Um, okay, I'm trying to put this in the bag and it's getting stuck. Okay, next up is in this Gilmore Girls project bag. This is from Winter and Stars Hollow. It's a lifestyle, it's a religion. Uh, and this is the Scary Sampler from Heartstring Samplery. Um, I started this on the 1st of April, 2024. Um, it's wrinkly because it was in a Q-snap. This is where I'm up to. <laughs> Um, 
So I'm stitching this on a 32 count T rose from Sew It All Australia. It's a fabric flare fabric, I believe. Um, and this is using the Cord for Overdyed. Uh, this is 1,352 stitches and 5.04% complete. So yeah. I quite enjoy working on this. I work, I take, I take this to work sometimes and the girls are just fascinated. They're like, that's so pretty. Why did you stitch the word dye? And I'm like, it's the scary sample. And then I showed them the photo and it made sense. Um... Okay, next up is a stitch along I'm doing with Mel and Cassandra, my friend, bestie. It is in this Halloween project bag because, you know, why not? Um, this is the Evie Lucian's Cat Cafe. I think that's what it's called. The photo will be up here. Um, and this is from Glitch Stitch AU. I have the most uh, tragic start. We started this on the 6th of April, 2024. They are well ahead of me. <laughs> this is where I'm up to. I've done a jolty on outline. Uh, Evie Needleminder is from Inchworm Designs. Um, this fabric is a 18 count mystery from Mystic Fabrics. Um, this here is 240 stitches and 1.58% complete. It's tiny. It's a tiny start. Um, I really need to get back on that. Actually, this fits for some frog lots prompts too. So that's always a contender. More bags just went sliding down. Um, okay. Next up is another, uh, villains piece. This is from ER Cross Stitch. Um, does this, is this, this bag? Does this belong with this? Sure. Let's assume that this belongs with this. Um, I started this in January, 2024. I didn't write down date, which was really, really silly of me. Um, this is the, uh, one of the stitch alongs for fandom. I, this may also be a UFO because I'm just not feeling it. Uh, this is what I've done. I'm at 16%. It's 1,739 stitches. This is an 18 count dreamscape from Crafty Lini. But I'm just, eh, I'm feeling eh about it. So more than likely this is gonna get frogged and the fabric will be used for something else because I'm just not, I worked on it in January and February and I haven't touched it since. Um, next up is the Milky Way Galaxy L from Pixel and Floss. This was gifted to me by Pixel and Floss, um, to, to give it a try. Um, I have got this in, um, Love You More Camping book sleeve. Why not? Um, so yeah, this was gifted to me, uh, from Pixel and Floss to give it a try. Um, I don't know how many stitches I've done because I, it's not pattern keeper compatible. So I don't know how many, how many I've done. Um, I started this on the 11th of April, 2024. And this is where I'm up to. Uh, so this is on 18 count white with the cord for DMC. To get the effect, it's very confetti heavy. Um, but that's the top of the L. Cool, cool. This is also going to go in back in the bag all right next up is yet another stitch along which I am not caught up with it is in this floral bag because you know I don't have an under the water bag uh, this is the deadly aquarium stitch along from Lola Crow cross stitch <laughs> yeah I started this on the 14th of April 2024 when it came out have I kept up no it's like release number five coming up doesn't matter. No, they're start alongs for a reason. Um, so this is where I'm up to. Uh, and this is an 18 count mystery from Mystic Fabrics as well. Uh, this is 1,173 stitches. So, you know, quite pretty. Um, needle minders are from Ginger Stitch AU. And the reason I stopped was because I ran out of 646 to fill in the rest of the goals. And I didn't want to move my Q-snap. And then I took it out of the Q-snap. So, you know. I will get back to it. I love Lola Crew stitch alongs. They are quite fun. Um, I just need to get back to it. So, at some point. Um, all right, next up is Max. This is 
Uh, the original was a UFO, which was a 20, 2020 piece, I think. Um, I just wasn't enjoying stitching it. Like I just never wanted to work on it at all. This project since I started it has had so much progress. Um, Russell put a photo up, but I started this on the 13th of May this year. So a month and like a few days. In that month and a few days, it has had 4,087 stitches and it is at 28.38% complete. And this is what it looks like. So this is an 11 by 11 Q snap. The whole design fits in here. Um, so as you can see, his little nose and his little mouth is coming into place and his eyes, his little ears. Um, so this is my Sunday focus piece, which I normally do. I have not worked on this yet today. Might, may not get to it today, but we'll get back to it. Um, but it is, yeah, it's so much more enjoyable to work on. I charted this myself from a photo I took um rather than the other one um so we'll see how it goes it is a little cutie <laughs> my sister wants it by christmas so um i should should knock on wood get it done by then um yeah because everything else is out of order as well my last two whips that i completely forgot about um because i didn't have them written in my book um they're out of order. So this first one I started back in April. So this is the Femurs and Fungi Stitch Along from Fine Frog Stitching. I am low-key obsessed with this stitch along. I am behind, yes, but I am slowly catching up. Um, so I will show you what, where I'm up to. This is where I'm up to. I finished this one, the Femur, yesterday. Uh, I have almost finished, I finished the skull. I'm just doing the little bits in the top and the bottom of this border. Um, and then I'll move on to one of the other motifs. Uh, I need to finish the dark brown in the bottom shelf as well, but it's just, it's so amazing. I absolutely love this. This is so much fun to work on. Um, this is on an 18 count um, mystic fabric as well. I think, I don't think it has a name. Um, Needleminder is from Ginger Stitch AU, uh, but I love this. Absolutely love working on it. So. That is where that is at. I'm going to keep this to the side because I'm actually working on it today. Um, and my final project, which is in this amazing project bag that I got from Jasmine Custom Bags. Um, it is, it's got a blood spatter interior because like, why not? Um, and this is Leave Me Alone. I'm cross stitching from the Witchy Stitcher. This was a Patreon chart for May, I'm pretty sure, or April, maybe May. Um, I started this on the 3rd of May, 2024, um, and this is where I'm up to. This is on an 18 count that I hand dyed myself, uh, and this is at 207 stitches and 4.82% complete. I am doing a conversion to green. Um, this needle mind is from Live and Die LA. Um, yeah, I'm converting this to green and gray as opposed to yellow and gold and beige. So yeah, I love it. Um, I did a pink conversion for a friend, uh, and then my friend Jess, uh, did a purple one and she's finished. So go have a look at hers, um, on Instagram. I'll, ha I'll have her spelled down below. Um, but yeah, that's my last whip. Yay. Um, do I have more planned starts? Yes, yes I do. I have, um, we're starting the Mad Hatter, uh, or Mad Tea Party. I can't remember what it's called by Bella Filipina on the 23rd of June with my other friend Jess, um, for her birthday. And then I am starting Frogwarts Year 5, uh, with the start party on the 30th of June, US time, 1st of July, my time. <laughs> um, so that will literally be from the 1st of July. I will be frantically trying to get 12,000 stitches done in two weeks to get this finished during the retreat. So I can get the, the hundred house points. We'll see what happens. Um, my fabric is ready to go. My floss is ready to go. I just ordered the couple that I was missing. Um, and we shall see, we shall see what happens. Um, other than that, that's my whip parade. If you've got any questions about the patterns or the fabric or the floss, uh, let me know. I will, I will get back to you. All of the charts that do have availability or do have a link, they'll be linked down in the description box below. Um, 
I don't even have Ross's one whip to show you um, to tack on the end, but um, he did show it a couple of videos ago. Um, so go take a look. Uh, we do also have um, our travel vlogs coming out every second week. Um, so keep an eye out for those. Uh, my next regular floss tube. So this video that you're watching will be the 30th of June, my time. My next video is scheduled to come out on the Sunday of Frogwarts. Um, I am going to have to get up very early on the Thursday or film Wednesday night for that to go up on the Sunday of Frogwarts. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of close. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah. Let me know if you have made it through this monstrosity of a whip parade. Um, if you have kudos to you, that was, that's a long video. Um, let me know if you have a floss tube, if you do have a mid-year whip parade, please let me know because I love watching whip parades. They are so, so much fun. Um, if you've been stitching while watching, let me know what you're stitching. Um, but yeah, I now have to go and clean up this mess at some point today because it's probably not going to happen straight after this video. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Do all the YouTube things, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.